This is the six berth camper van that we hired while traveling around New Zealand. And the side door has a screen so it'll keep all the bugs out. Go up a step and there's four seats there that all have seat belts. You can put a table into the floor where you see those two holes. Up at the top there's uh, plenty of storage and above the driver's seat you've got the double size bed and there's all the bedding that they provided which was great. And there's windows, those have screens as well. At the passenger side there's quite a lot of storage both in the glove compartment and up above. The center console has a touch screen radio mapping and even has camper mate. And on the driver's seat, there's controls on the steering wheel and even has cruise control. The orange electric cable you need to have plugged in if you're going to use the microwave, toaster, or some of the other electrical appliances they provide. There's seating with seat belts for four in this middle area. And you can even have the table up while you're driving, or you can pull the bottom parts of the seat out, and this actually converts into a bed. There's a handy 12 volt plug that you can use to charge your devices either while you're driving or even while you're sleeping because it goes off with the back battery. This is the kitchen area with a four burner stove top that runs off the LPG tank. There's quite a lot of storage below and above this area. The sink, the hot and cold water, and over to the bathroom door. Inside they provided a bucket with some cleaning supplies. You've got the cassette toilet, a fold-down sink, and some storage space on top, along with the shower that actually drains in the corner there. You can see the reflection of the fridge and a lot of counter space. And there's Donna who's giving us this tour of our camper van. Moving to the back, you see a queen size bed and there's some storage space off to the left there along with two reading lights. You've got two windows, one that has a screen. We were able to fit two adults and two children on that bed. There's a good view of the counter space. Going back to the seating area. Off to the left there you'll see there's the different electronic controls as the water, electricity, Another view of the top sleeping area with the skylight and you can open that up if you want to air it out. TV if you're plugged in. There's a radio for the back which is separate from the radio from the front. You've got quite a bit of storage space, some wine glasses, more storage space. There's another window with the screen above the cooking area. And here's a good view of some of the under storage. So they actually provide enough plates and cutlery, cups and mugs for six people since this is a six berth camper van. There's actually quite a bit of storage space all around the kitchen area. From the drawers below, off to the right, there's actually a slide out pantry that has different baskets. You can put a lot of canned food in. There I am peeking in to see how everything is going. In the other cabinet they provided quite a few kitchen items. Anything with a plug, unfortunately the camper van did have to be plugged in at a campsite for, including the microwave. Here comes my daughter Bella to check out the camper van before we head out on the road. She looks really impressed. And there's a good shot of the fridge which worked really well for us. This was one of the many free campsites we got to stay at while traveling around New Zealand. There are a large number of freedom camping sites you can stay at while traveling around New Zealand in a camper van. We use both the Rankers and the CamperMate apps to find these freedom camping destinations. A lot of which were right on the beach and uh, had some really amazing views. You can go to mattmanyplaces.com to get more information on how we've got some great deals on camper vans like this. Travel information, tips, advice, and experiences are all on our website. Here's another one of our freedom camping spots in the Waikato area.
you pray for the food.